What's up guys, and Average Recon here. In this video, as you see, I'm not playing a shooter, and I'm not playing a game where you build stuff. Uh, this is kind of like an exploration game. Not kind of, it is an exploration game. Only, you don't really make the choices. You, you'll see what I mean. So, this game is called, you can't even tell because I'm in the options menu. This game is called, <laughs> you are playing, The Stanley Parable. So, You'll find out what it is shortly, but I already said it was an exploration game. The reason I'm playing this game, really quick, uh, is because I, I saw it on YouTube and it looked really awesome. So awesome, in fact, that I spent $15 on it. You can buy it at Steam if you want. So let's do this. There are multiple endings. That's the only spoiler I'm going to give. So there, this might be a multi-video series. We'll see. Begin the game. The end is never, the end is never, the end is loading. <laughs> this is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. <laughs> Orders came to him through a monitor That's how my mom types. telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month right. of every year. Wow. Although others might have considered it soul-winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. <laughs> and Stanley was happy. That's good. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order what? had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, oh, no. or even say hi. <laughs> never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very I still can't look wrong. around. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he I got up from his now, desk obviously. and stepped out of his office. Hey, I'm going to try to turn the uh, subtitles on really quick. Extras probably. No. Achievement. <laughs> That's really funny. That's really funny, actually. Save? Nah. Uh, I hope it's on video. Come on. That is so weird. I on the video I saw, there were um, subtitles. Huh, that's alright. All right, let's do this, guys. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. The meeting room. Where's that? I hate Mondays, yeah. Me too. When Stanley came oh my to gosh. a set of two open a doors, choice. he entered the door on his left. Um, okay. Why not? Yet there was not a single person here either. Tips Feeling for not a wave getting of fired. Disbelief, Talk Stanley less. decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might <laughs> find an answer there. How to solve a dispute with a coworker? Let it bomb up inside you. Take it out passively. <laughs> That's really funny. Using slides to assure employees that everything is okay. Is a slick blue graphic. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. But I have. You most of all. Oh wow, this is really funny. What is <laughs> profits? Profits. Uh, I'm gonna keep going. The broom closet. Um, 
<laughs> I've seen a video on this and it's really funny. I will cover this in a later video. If you don't know what I'm talking about, good. You'll, you'll see eventually. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. There seems to be something wrong with the um, video. Alright guys, uh, I think I've fixed the like weird lines going through the video. So let's go to the boss's office. Here we are. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Ooh. Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? You what can't, he could you can't not jump at all. Was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret <laughs> number. Extra two, secret. Eight, four, five. Two, but of eight, course, Stanley four, couldn't possibly have known five. this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random <laughs> buttons on the keypad, random Stanley buttons. happened to input the yep. correct code That's by me. sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened Piano. passageway. Okay, let's go. Whoa. A button. Loading, 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 loading. Descending deeper into the building, All right. Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered Ooh. for long. All right, let's check this place out. Whoa. It's dark and ominous. Stanley walked straight ahead through <laughs> the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Okay, sounds fun. Why not? I'll escape later. It's dark. There's a button! Ah, I must press it. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I don't know. Let's let's find out. Ooh, another button. Now, Whoa. The jumped to life. Oh, where's mine? Um, oh my god, 427 I think. Of an employee in oh the building, crap, I missed Stanley's it. Stanley's the lives of so many individuals wow. reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Freedom means nothing? That's too bad. Well, I want to go up. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't okay, be true. Okay, uh, 427. Had Stanley really been under there someone's it is, right control there. all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his huh. boring job? That oh, cool. Yeah, look at that. That is the desk. I'm pointing at my screen, but you can't see me. Uh, but right there, that, that is actually the desk they showed before. That's cool. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't Unfathom it? Was Unfathomable. It impossible? I Had like this guy's accent. spent so his entire life... Just Utterly unthinkable. Blind to the world. <laughs> blind to the world. <laughs> All right. Was Whoa. Group, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. Ooh, that's cool. And as the cold reality of his past began Facility to sink power? in, right. Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over mm. another human life. Okay. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Why not? What's... <laughs> I could turn it on, <laughs> which would be probably really funny, but let's turn it off. I wonder what'll happen. Whoa. 
Did I win? I think I won. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Yep. Was it over? I don't know. I just asked that. Yes. He oh. had won. Okay. He had defeated the machine. Yay. Unshackled himself from someone else's can I move? Command. Oh, I can move. Wow. Freedom was mere moments away. Mere moments? Yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, oh, Stanley that's reflected what's happened. on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where yeah. had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? I just want to jump. I j oh my god. Streamed into the you chamber, can't jump. <laughs> <realized> <laughs> oh my god, this is so funny. I love the creators of this seen. game. But happiness. Perhaps his goal <laughs> you guys didn't catch that. Um, but an them, achievement just popped up no right after I said I want to jump. Where to go, what to do, or how to fail. Whatever life he wow, lives, cool. it will be his. Oh, this and looks really nice. He needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze cool. upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. Huh. And Stanley was happy. I'm happy, yay. <laughs> I'm happy because he says I'm happy. Alright guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed. Now this was the... This is a playthrough where I did everything like I was supposed to. <clears throat> now, the next playthrough, which is starting right now, but will be in the next video, this playthrough, I'm gonna do something not what he tells me, and it's gonna be really awesome. Well, I hope so. <laughs> we'll see. I don't really know what's gonna happen. Oh, I just got a message. Uh, so guys, I hope you enjoyed this, the first video, this video. Whoa. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. Uh, what that, if he had to make a decision? What the heck? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? That was an act. You know, whatever. Uh, <laughs> guys, I hope you enjoyed this the video. Stay tuned. Badly. Something weird is already know, happening. Stanley thought to himself, uh, <laughs> nothing will hurt me. Right, so the nothing next video, I'm going to In do here, something a little different and not follow his directions. Ever. So, see you guys later. Stanley.